back to another video where we're gonna be taking a look at how to create these crazy cool dynamic fractal geometry inside of Octane Render and Cinema 4D. And you actually don't need any textures or anything. It's really, we're just creating it straight out of the box. But there is, as always, a project file down below of the thumbnail I created. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and check that out. The first seven days is free. Now let's get into the video. Okay guys, so now it's time for everyone's favorite fractals. So we'll go over to Octane and just jump right in. Actually, we're gonna go to plug in C4D Octane and go to Vectron. So Vectron's coming right here. We're gonna go to script category and click Vectron script preset mandel bulb text. So these are the only things you really need to know what to mess with. And then we just need to change our power to something like 2.1 just to get it to show up. So now we have our mandel bulb. And you can also keyframe this and animate it but I'm gonna just stick around 10 probably. Perfect. And it looks a little weird because our fractal's actually clipping. Uh, the view distance and the viewport do something with it. I'm not really sure why. So we'll just get a frame up. Maybe something like this. This looks pretty nice. And we're just gonna go ahead and create the camera and uh, get all the camera settings out of the way. As always, We'll enable AI denoising, and then we'll do some post-processing and add some blue. But we don't even have any lights yet, so let's go ahead and create a, a HDRI environment and then a octane light, area light to be exact. Perfect. And we're going to do our double view again, especially with this uh, Vectron plugin or Vectron script. It's uh, you really can't see anything up here anyway, so you don't even need to see from that perspective. There we go. So right there looks good, and we're gonna just change, let's create a material first. We'll go C40 Octane, Octane Material, perfect. Drag that on to, not to that, we're gonna drag that onto Vectron. And we're gonna do a metallic material. Uh, octane metal metallic materials are pretty fun. Try to say that three times real fast. And let's go to film layer. Uh, I've seen this a couple of times where they do a gradient and it gives you kind of a rainbow effect. Although I haven't really had any luck with pulling color out other than with lights. So we're just gonna do it that way. However, we have the film layer on anyways. So, by adjusting our color temperature, we can change the color of this. And we'll just copy and paste our light over and rotate it. And this is a matter of just composition and personal taste. I like to clash the colors a lot though. And let's go ahead and go to the camera. I always like to do some more close-up stuff, especially with working with this geometry. It's so cool looking. Um, jump into camera and let's go to 80 beautiful and we're just gonna hunt around for a couple of seconds oh we got to jump back in the camera view we'll hunt around for a couple of seconds just trying to find something interesting like that looks pretty cool and we'll back off some and we'll jump back to our other view these lights are a little powerful, so I'm gonna just drop the power down, especially this one. Perfect. So we're not really getting any color yet, and that's because we only have two different light temperatures. So we'll drag this up right here, and let's just rotate it down some. And you're gonna have to kind of picture where this thing is in your head, because you can't really see it anywhere. There we go, and now we're mixing a lot of colors in. And just like that we get a lot of colors <clears throat> there's a lot of experimenting and stuff you can do with this I'm gonna just play around a little bit with everything and let's go back to camera and add some bl more bloom the bloom really sells it and uh, this is a really cool look it's kind of hard to see let's make it bigger perfect so if you want to add a little bit more color you can always add in lights and just put a place right here in your composition uh, this is kind of just a base layer. Let's move around a little bit more. Let's see what we can find. So I added another octane light and just put it right here. 
let's go ahead and change the samples to something like 500. And this is kind of just to fill in the black space. It's a compositional choice. Also remember you can play with this material a lot more than what I did. We can go into gradients and we can add several gradients. Like that's a pretty cool look right there as is. Let's go ahead and drop another one in. Maybe, what if we just change it to this? Let's do, and then we'll add in white right here. And we're just getting some crazy looks uh, by messing with this film layer and it's looking pretty nice too. So this is the basics of Vectron and Octane and how to start messing with fractals and creating them. Uh, we can also just, just a compositional thing or more just a look thing is go to your camera imager and then go to highlight compression and drag that up all the way. So we just get more dynamic range in here and make them look more realistic. And you can just see there's so much colors and so much light coming around and bouncing around. I'm sure if we changed the path tracing, it would look even better, but we don't want to kill our GPU. And always remember, you can animate it right here. So just like that, that's how you create this scene or create a fractal inside of Octane. So guys, thank you for watching. Hope you really enjoyed it. Remember the project files down below free for the first seven days. And if you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe and I'll bring more of it. Thanks guys, peace out.